thank you for doing that. Oh, I've been trying to reach out to you for some time. And I was worried that <laughs> you wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I am not here. You don't have to worry about that. I know this might be very confusing for you, but you should just take this at face value. It might be easier. I am down by the beach, the shore. I'm talking to you. I needed you to open up your window to make it easier. <laughs> and you did a very good job at that. You seem very willing, very pliable. I didn't have to push very hard to get you out of bed. To get you to come over to the window so I could talk to you. <sighs> you seemed very open to that. No, 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 no. No, no. That's not a bad thing. Not at all. You are just very open to. The new experiences, and mm, it seems like you're not particularly happy with your life. Looking for a little change, something different, anything to disrupt the way that things are going, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's all great. If you're having a hard time speaking, you can just nod. And you're so lonely. Mm -hmm. Looking for something, someone to help fill that. That's unfortunate. So many people like that. Walking around, miserable, not sure what to do. You know, there are things you can do to fix that. Meet new people, warm connections and friendships. And I see you've tried, but you just haven't found what you're looking for, have you? Oh, there, there. <laughs> I think you should come out and visit. Mm -hmm. It's just a short walk to the beach. just have a little talk, you and me. You would like that, wouldn't you? Someone to talk to, to spend time with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and put your coat on. Put on your shoes on. Good 
job so far. Mm -hmm. You do look good in that coat. Well, I can see you. I don't have to be there, but I see a very little thing you do. Mm -hmm. Or you could say I've been keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I know sometimes at night when you're alone, you keep looking over your shoulder. You get that feeling that someone's been watching you and yeah, you're right, someone has been watching you, but you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. I your best interests in mind. <laughs> Which is why I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. I believe that we could form some sort of an arrangement. Come to an agreement. Something mutually beneficial. That's it. Oh, I know it is dark outside. It's quite late, but... I can only really talk to you at night. Sorry about that. I know. I know. That's okay. Well, at least no one will bother us. Mm-hmm. It's just us out here, and if someone did stumble across us, I promise that I can take care of it, okay? You don't have to worry about anything outside of walking to the shore, okay? Let's just focus on that right now. Oh. <laughs> you are doing very good. Oh. It is very pretty outside. You're on the beach, the moonlight reflecting off the water. It's very picturesque. Kind of romantic, in a way. Just a little bit further. Right to the edge of the water. There you go. <laughs> I wanted you to come out here so I could get a proper look at you. You are quite stunning. <laughs> huh. You seem a lot happier right now than you usually are. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I need it to get you out here so I could actually interact with you. <sighs> Just to ask a few things. I am going to loosen my hold on you. I know. I know. That's okay. You don't have to be scared, I promise. No, really, it's okay. I just wanted you to come out here to ask you a few things. You can always go back home. And 
believe me, I feel on. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. This doesn't make a lot of sense why you'd come out here at night and... Well, <laughs> I guess it does seem very dreamlike, but... No, this is real. Remember what I told you? To just take things at face value. I did give you a little bit of light encouragement to leave your home and bring you here, but right now you have complete control over yourself and I don't see you running away or screaming or panicking anything like that. You're mostly just curious and scared, but more cautious. <laughs> and I want you to know, I am not going to lie to you. I did mean it when I said that I mean you and no harm. I do want something from you, but I'll only take that if you agree to give it to me. <laughs> well, what I'm looking for can only be a mutually agreed upon thing, and I did want to bring you out here to make sure that this is even something that I want. I had felt pretty sure that it would be, but I just had to make sure. Mm -hmm. What am I looking for? Oh, nothing too strange or complex, just companionship. Fairly straightforward. I could tell that you're very, very lonely. You seem to be the most suitable nearby candidate for such a thing. And I picked you because it seemed the easiest. You were the most likely to agree to such a proposal. Hmm. Why would I want you to be my companion? Well, Also lonely. I am um, one of a kind, you could say. Physically, I am very, very different from you and other humans. I guess you could say it feels weird to say that because I identify a lot with you. Humans are the only thing here worth communicating with or interacting with and I've never seen or heard of anything like me. I have heard stories of things like me, but I don't know if maybe those stories are based on things like me and there were more at some point, or if they're just somewhere else, but I am 
alone. Very, very alone. I can't just interact with you as I wish. I had a companion for some time, but eventually they wanted more from life, and they took a partner with another human and left me behind. No, I let them do that. I knew it was going to happen. It was a fairly peaceful separation. I just miss that. And I was looking to form another very close relationship with someone. That's probably a lot to take in, but I did want to be completely honest with you. All of my cards are going to be laid out on the table for you here. Because I do really like you. Physically, you're very attractive. Um, you are. I feel somewhat guilty for having spied on you so much, but you are beautiful in appearance. <laughs> yeah. I maybe should have informed you about that earlier, but I did need to make sure that you wouldn't be the kind of person to freak out about such a thing. I have to be very careful. I might be strong and powerful, but like I said, I'm very alone. If people found out that I was out here, I think I would be in danger. So I have to mostly just observe what people do and simply fantasize about being a part of all of that. But I could build up trust with someone and get the sort of interactions I'm looking for that way. And I did have that for some time and it was very nice. Um, I suppose that is a lot. I was a lot more confident before telling you all of that, but everything considered, I... Oh, what, what do you think? What, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> you want to know what I look like. You're confused because you're just... <laughs> looking at the water and uh, I suppose it is a little disorienting. Uh, you humans are used to communicating face to face over the phone. Usually some sort of visual representation of where the communication's coming from, but yes, I am uh, nearby. I am worried about 
showing myself to you because it may be a bit much uh, for right now. Um, no, no, I, I know you think that, like, <laughs> I know you think that it's fine and you're curious, but if you looked at me, I think it may have a negative impact on your mind. Um, <laughs> I just know from experience that that can happen. <laughs> Looking at me can drive people crazy and I would prefer to keep your mind intact <laughs> a lobotomized companion wouldn't be very enjoyable so for the time being we will mostly talk like this Looking at me is bad, but there are other ways that you could perceive me that may be less damaging. <laughs> and by that, I mean uh, like touch, a physical contact. mess with you too much. But before anything like that happens, I would need a little bit more assurance that you trust me. <laughs> I would hate to make you feel like you're being pressured into doing this. Because, ultimately, I want you to agree to this, willingly. So, if you want to go back home, I am not going to stop you. But, if you want to experience something truly unique, Maybe help alleviate some of that loneliness you're feeling. Or you could agree. <laughs> Although, I will say, once you agree, that's a bit of a slippery slope, then we'll see where that goes. Uh, this is up to you. I did pull you out of your house and wake you up in the middle of the night after all. That is a very rude thing to do and I do apologize. But what do you say to my little proposal? You are hesitating on this. That's okay. Take your time. Oh. I know. It's scary. You can go. As I said, I'm not going to keep you here. I can tell that you want to agree, but I am going to 
need you to actually agree. I need you to say it. Just to make sure that you're okay with that. Mm -hmm. I don't want there to be any ambiguity here. And if I'm being so honest with you, I'm going to need some honesty from you, too. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to tell me <laughs> what you don't want, what you do want. But you do need to agree. Oh. There you go. Oh. Good girl. I am so glad that you agreed. <laughs> I think first I am going to need you to stop a little bit closer to the water. Okay. We're just going to break the ice a little bit, get familiar. I need you to close your eyes. And this is very, very important. Don't open them. The first thing I'm going to do is... of my arms <laughs> around your head. I really can't risk you looking at me. So if you could close your eyes, keep them closed, and I'm trusting you on this. I'm not going to force you to keep your eyes closed, because I had said that I wouldn't do that. But just please, okay? This is for your own safety. Okay. All right. I'm just going to wrap this around your face, covering your eyes. <laughs> I know that might feel strange, but hopefully it's not uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, well, yes, I did say it was an arm, but I guess you could say it's more like a tentacle or tendril or something similar to that. I don't have hands or bones, but it is an appendage, like an arm. <laughs> it feels warm. <laughs> I'm glad it is very cold out tonight. I'll try my best to keep you warm, okay? Here. Can you hold out one of your hands? Thank you. I am going to <laughs> hold your hand. The closest thing I can do to that, anyway. Just wrapping one of my tendrils around your forearm. See, I don't mean you any harm. And 
freely. I was just looking for affection, company. Um, yeah, it is very nice to hold someone like this. It's been quite a while since I've been this close to someone. <laughs> I know that you're the one that should be scared here, but <laughs> I'm also very nervous. <laughs> Is that comfortable? Hopefully that's not too tight around your arm or your eyes. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't squeezing too tight. a few of my arms around your back, like a hug. <laughs> there you go. Nice and close and comfortable and very warm. I finally get to do this with you. <laughs> this does make me very, very happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can tell that you're content too. I am glad. I do just want to stay like this for a little bit. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. A little bit less of a hug now, and y yeah, sorry, I just got a little carried away. How many arms do I have? Uh, <laughs> many. Um, I guess that would be of difficult to explain. Uh, maybe the best way to explain that is it's complicated. Or <laughs> as many as you need. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not really <laughs> a fixed number. But yeah. <laughs> right now, I've got the one on your head and one on your arm and two around your back and one going down each leg. <laughs> Sorry about that one. I just kind of did that instinctively. Yeah. <laughs> like a full body hug. <laughs> and this contact is very nice. Mm -hmm. I am sorry about the leg thing I got. A little bit carried away. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm glad you don't mind. <laughs> Are you comfortable? I know it might be difficult for you to move right now. <laughs> yeah, you're comfy. Oh, come here. <laughs> mm. I am this. Yes. You are expecting something a little bit more <laughs> physical based on what I was talking about. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing something like that with you, but I had just kind of planned on this. You did just meet me, like, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I, um, <laughs> oh, I'm very happy that you trust me enough to say that. the stuff like that you like this like I really like this uh, I mean <laughs> obviously I'm fine with that I'm just surprised <laughs> well I Look, I am glad, and I can provide that for you. Um, I was not expecting this kind of, I mean, <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever asked me for something like that. Really? So pushier. <laughs> hey, you have a lot of confidence for someone that's all wrapped up. <sighs> you're, you're, you're very interesting. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, what are you gonna do if I don't do that for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I could just grab your other arm and, well, well, you can't just move at all. You can't see. You can't move. Oh. <laughs> hey, you are in a very vulnerable position right now. Is that what's so appealing to you, the vulnerability, the loss of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you ask nicely and say please, I might give you what you're looking for, sweetie. Good girl. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to give you what you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching my video. I want to give a big shout out to my patrons who helped make this possible. Mega Bulldog, 
wintry leader, snuggier, minty, anchan, zoe, zaramalp, wolf lord of the north, undeniable, seven, 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 alex ether, snows are slippery snakes, rainbows brew, my Max Fruit, Owl Dog, Lula, Kate, Kickdrop, Cami Chan, Idiot Sandwich, GFY Guy, Adisla Valley, Francesca, Equinox Fox, Chandra, Dress to Kill, Archdemon Chrissy, and Among Us. Thank you so much.